Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Elias Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, August 28th, 2024. Just in case you guys haven't heard, Mr. Santiago has an announcement for us. Let's see. Good morning, Rex Pines. My name is Mr. Santiago. For those of you who are meeting me for the first time, and I'm here to tell you guys about our drumline and band auditions that are coming up. So the drumline auditions will be this Wednesday, August 28th after school from 3:45 to 5:30 and the band audition will be next week Tuesday September 3rd after school from 3:45 to 5:30 they are both for middle school so if you are interested please ask your parents to check their emails and have them sign you up via the sign up genius links that were sent out to your parents so i look forward to seeing you all i look forward to seeing all of the new talent here at Rex Pines see you guys later Thanks, Mr. Santiago. Oh boy, does that sound slow. Now let's see what today's history is with Noah. Thank you, Alaya. Hi, Patriots. Today in history on August 28, 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I Have a Dream speech. This event happened at the Washington, D.C. in the Lincoln Memorial. Over 200,000 came to hear him, all with the same dream for African Americans to have equality. Mr. King wanted everyone to know the importance of being treated equally. This speech was one of the biggest things in black history. Wow, what an amazing day. Now let's go to Zarmel for today's lunch. Thank you, Now Today tasting lunch is rotini with meat sauce, seasoned breadsticks, vegetarian hummus wrap, steamed corn, fresh broccoli, garden salad, ranch dressing, pineapple tippets, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow breakfast is apple frutal, Lucky Charms, Graham Crackers, Fresh Apples, Mixed Fruit Juice, and your Chase of Milk. Students, please keep in mind a lunch menu can change at any time and to always let your teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to Elia. Thank you, Zarmel. That sounds like a blast. Patriots, chewing gum in school is not allowed, so spit it out to keep our school clean. Phones, too. Make sure they are turned off and in your bag. And make sure to wear only a school jacket or a sweater. Okay, you guys should know what to do for the challenge by now, so let's skip to the good part. K through 4th will have a fun time with waffles and dress down, and 5th through 8th will be having a fun day with Sundays and dress down. Here's a secret, the top 3 users with the most lessons will also partake in the fun. Do your best, the challenge is on. K through 2nd will be continuing their map fluency test throughout the rest of the week. Good luck! Now come on, the interview is about to start. Hey Patriots, welcome back to Let's Talk. I'm Jason Peña, and here again we're going to be showcasing another one of our new teachers. Today we have our theater elective teacher, Ms. Good. Hi, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm good. So how has teaching theater been so far? Uh, so far it's been really amazing. Uh, I love working with uh, the kids at the school. I love working with my coworkers. It's been a great school year so far. Everyone's been really nice. I'm glad you're enjoying it. How long have you been teaching theater? Um, well, I've been teaching in general for about five years. I started um, as an ESC teacher in 2020. Um, and then because I went to college for theater and I have my bachelor's in theater performance, uh, when, a, uh, when a position for a theater teacher opened up, I was able to take that. So I've been teaching for about five years, but I've been teaching theater specifically for about for three years now. That's amazing. What do you like about teaching theater? Um, well, I have always loved performing and dancing and singing, and that's always been a passion of mine. So I love being able to open up that passion in uh, children, especially kids who may be a little shy and don't really know their footing yet. So I just love being able to open up that That's part. so inspiring. What inspired you to start teaching theater? Um, well, like I said, when I was younger, I always loved performing, and actually, I always wanted to be a singer, uh, but I was always terrified to sing, so uh, when I was in middle school, actually, um, I had saw 
High School Musical 3, and I was like, oh, well, if I can't do singing, I can do musical theater because that's just singing with acting. And um, I started taking acting classes to make me comfortable uh, acting on stage, and then that passion turned from me being just a drama kid to going to college and doing it, and I've just always loved performing ever since I was a little kid. That's amazing. Have you done any shows in the past? I have. Uh, so when I was in college, I did a few shows in college. I did uh, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. I did Jesus Christ Superstar. Um, and then when I graduated college, I worked for the Orlando Theater Rep as well as the Lakeland Community Theater, um, where I did uh, Annie Get Your Gun, Sister Act shows like that. And I was able, I got the opportunity to do uh, off-Broadway. There's this musical called Be More Chill, and I did that in 2020, 2021, something like that. Uh, so that's always, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Do you have any other hobbies you do on your free time? Um, I love music. I play guitar, bass, trumpet, a little bit of piano, and I love reading. I'm a big reader. How do you help your students embrace their talents? Um, I'm a big believer in, obviously, encouragement, um, but also I genuinely believe that any kid can do anything they put their mind to. So if somebody tells me that they want to do something but maybe they're a little nervous, I try to remind them that, hey, everybody gets nervous. You know, Beyonce gets nervous, Taylor Swift gets nervous, everybody gets nervous, but they are some of the biggest names in the world. So I always try to remember, like, try to remind them that that's just called being human. It's great how you help students embrace their talents. Thank you. Lightning round questions. LA or New York? New York. <laughs> robots or drones? Uh, robots. <laughs> Jump rope or hula hoop? Jump rope. <laughs> <laughs> Watching plays or doing them? Um, ooh, doing a play. <laughs> well, Patriots, that's it for Let's Talk. If you see Ms. Good in the hallway, make sure to say hi. Until next time. What's up, Patriots? Today's weather is 91 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. In other weather news, have you ever heard of a hail fog? In Cascade, Colorado, in just 15 minutes, over a foot of hail fell, causing a phenomenon known as hail fog. Hail happens when rain from a thunderstorm reaches a cold part of the atmosphere and freezes. When the hail falls, it cools the air above it to the dew point, resulting in fog. Wow, it looks like winter in August. Now let's wish our Patriots happy birthday with Catherine. Thank you, Hadassah. Safe birthday, boys and girls, are Brandon Amador and Skylar Rollins. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Eliya. Thank you, Catherine. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Eugene, Miss Sheriff, Miss Nelson, and Miss Samuel for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was What is the most popular car color? The correct answer was white. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What mammals can't jump? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmo.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. Have a great day.